Okay guys, it's really kind of dark to be doing a video out here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try this because you'll be able to see what I got going on anyway. But uh it's me. Of course that light's brighter than hell. But uh yeah, I'm gonna get up here and hopefully you can see me and I'm gonna show you what I got going on and what I'm taking to the shop tomorrow and cleaning up and and then we'll go from there. Okay. Okay, right here, we pulled this off several years ago. You can see it's full of dirt. It's all cleanable. You know, I've got the, uh, the hub, the knuckle right here. And, uh, I need to take this up to the shop and sandblast all this stuff off in the glass beading cabinet. And I've got all my locks and everything right here. I kept them all here. You know, my son took all this apart and said, oh, just, just set it there. I'll, I'll get it moved. And I never got it moved. And this is what happens when you leave the shit out in the, the weather. It gets all, gets all rusty and shit, but... I didn't leave none of the main stuff other than this drive shaft here. And I can take that to the shop, clean that up. Uh, I can run some uh, crocus cloth on that and it'll be plenty clean for what I'm going to use it for. You know, it's going to be a, a freaking mud vehicle. So, you know, we're not going to get too crazy with it. Take all this shit up there and put it in the beat blaster and clean it all up and it'll be good. I've got the nuts to this in, in my little storage shed there. I'll grab them in the morning when I can see. I'm not going in there tonight. But uh, yeah, everything I got there and I'll, I'll probably get the jack from the shop and put it up under the pumpkin there and and uh, get everything you know rounded up but tonight I'm going to put this right here in this bucket it's kind of late to be covering it up now but I've got it all in one place for sure now and uh, I'll come out here tomorrow first thing in the morning pick that up boy that is really out of focus there we go. And uh, pick all that up in the morning and, and go straight to the shop and clean it all up and come back here and uh, take this truck and put it on my trailer and take it all to the shop this motor out it's got a decent motor in it it hadn't had a carburetor on it in a while but you know, see there it's a it's a good wrench motor and then when they pulled the hood off that sticker looked like brand new the motor was originally black we pulled it out once just to paint it so you know it was that clean uh you know i pulled it out painted it put it back in you know, the old truck's like a 76 or something like that. And, uh, you know, I guess they burn up the motor in it or something and they put that one in it. And they drove it to a, a tractor dealer, picked up a tractor, left that there, drove the tractor home, and never came back and got the truck. And then, I bought the truck off the tractor company for $25. So, you know, if I got to put a rebuild kit in the motor now, you know, that's $25 real well spent. So I'm not really worried about it. But anyway, that's it. We'll talk to you later. Bye.